Hello, hello, welcome back to the Snap on Tools Tri County show. I'm here because I just received one of my favorite tools in. We just got our digital torque wrenches back in stock. So, folks, first of all, before this video even starts, pause it, like the video, leave a comment, what color you want, and we'll get you fixed up. We'll get you a deal on them. But uh, if you like the video, definitely leave a like comment if you want to see any new products talked about of course with our tool show coming up very very soon in august you're gonna see a lot of new tools on the truck and i'll be making plenty of videos on them so if you see anything let me know if you don't let me know what you want to see and we should be able to make it happen but back to the start of the show today our digital torque wrenches i'll tell you top to bottom these things have been engineered to make your life easier um let's just get right into it so first of all the head, it's 80 tooth gearing, same as our 3 8 and half inch ratchets, dual 80 technology. You're able to put over 250 foot pounds of torque. That doesn't mean you need to test that though, because these are rated for 125 foot pounds with the, uh, the torquing mechanism. So it's like an engine. You might have 700 horsepower, but hopefully you only have to use two to three to make it more efficient. You don't have to use the whole thing. That uh, way you can have it more efficient and uh, it lasts longer for you. So we're going to talk, of course, your torque head. You got that. You got your inverse uh, flex head. So if we grab one of our regular flex head ratchets down, you'll see that your head is actually on the outside of the handle instead of the inside. We do that because we've been, well, I guess the, the biggest thing is, is with higher torques, you're going to have those little leaf uh, branches uh, start flaring out on you. And if you have thicker branches, of course, you're going to be able to hold more and it's not going to flare out on you and get that floppy head syndrome. So with that being said, we've bulked this up so it's a lot more heavy duty. So you don't got to worry about anything deteriorating over the years on this ratchet. Now, moving into the next thing, we'll, we'll flip it over here so I guess you can actually read it, uh, your display. So it's a it's an LCD display. Um, oh, we turned off because fun fact, and I'm glad this was able to show me that, um, it does have an auto off feature. Uh, after about a minute, it will shut off so it doesn't kill your batteries. So while that's that, I'm gonna actually talk about the, uh, the displays here, so. Uh, buttons, you got your power on, or I call it a recalibration, it resets it. Um, your unit, so foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters, kilograms, centimeters, decinewton meters, that's all under that, which we'll get into that a little bit more as well. You got your directional keys, so up or down, if you want a higher torque or a lower torque, you can. Underneath here, you got your backlight, and we'll get into that, and then of course your conversion. I call it conversion button. I guess you could call it an arrow as well. The main thing is, is that's actually made to change to torque angle. Uh, so we boot this bad boy up. You're going to see torque zeroing. So it zeroes every time. You do not have to turn this back to five foot pounds or like a click style. You usually have to turn them back every time so that nothing gets out of whack in there. You don't have to worry about it with this. It zeroes every time. So starting in the top right corner my right corner your left possibly um i'll point to it just so you know what i'm talking about up here is your battery gauge i'll try to get it without a reflection there you are battery gauge down below is what mode you're in top left for me is going to be your bolt counter which is fantastic if you're say torquing a wheel and you know you got six lug nuts to do and you only got five uh, maybe you got to go back or maybe you have seven and you know you're extra extra careful about it but your uh your bolt counter is up there your units and then what you're actually torquing to so if we go into that u button that i talked about here we're going to click this you got your inch pounds your newton meters kilogram centimeters decinewton meters and then back to foot pounds so no more needing to convert on your phone a lot of customers have that conversion table on the back of their toolbox, which is fantastic for a quick reference. But all you got to do is press that U button and it'll actually convert for you. So that, uh, of course, like I said about your power button, if you hit that, it zeroes out again. Basically clean slate, uh, your directional keys. So you can go to 125 foot-pounds of torque all the way down to 5, your backlight. And the nice thing is with your backlight button as well, you can actually see that engage every time you start to torque. So it's not a point of you have to click it to see how close you are to the torque, which will also get into the progressive lighting on the top here, but it actually automatically turns on when you start torquing. Now, 
talking about that progressive lighting is basically what's going to keep you on track. Click stall torque wrenches while they're fantastic. You don't have to change batteries. Most guys over torque with them. And the reason for that is, is when you're using a torque wrench, let's say we're using our nice little 3 8 ratchet as an example. When you're torquing and torquing, you don't know how close you are to the torque until it clicks and you're already over torquing. So even at that 50, 60 foot pounds, you're torquing maybe up to 10% more um, on, our, uh, on our comparator up front, which we have on the truck to check torque wrenches to see if they're in torque. What we found is if you're torquing to 100, you're usually between 112 and 115 foot pounds, even with a calibrated torque wrench, because by the time you've already clicked, you're already past that torque. Nice thing is with this bad boy, and we'll actually do a demonstration here now, is as you get close to that torque, you can see those yellow lights light up, you know, oh, I got to stop. And that allows you to torque a lot more accurately. You don't got to worry about damaging that fastener. Of course, everyone always says over torquing is better than under torquing. I'd have to say I'd rather have a, a, a intact bolt than a damaged bolt from over torquing. But that's just me. I'll try to torque my wheels properly anyway. So we got that going on for us. Of course, your progressive lighting. It, one thing that you did hear as well is a beep once it gets to torque. And also, I'll try to get it close enough. There's actually a vibration motor in there as well. So if you're up over your head, you can't see that progressive lighting. You can't see uh, or hear maybe uh, you got earplugs in. You'll actually feel this as well. So it's like a click style where you do have that audible uh, click or that vibration. But the big thing is as well is if you can't feel or hear it, you can see it. So there's all the different senses. All we need is smell a vision for these things and then you'll be good to go. You can smell when you get to torque. Uh, along with that, you do have your arrow key button here. Now I'm going to click it and I'm going to set it down because this has a gyroscope built inside of it. So what happens is it has to sit extremely still so it can find itself and then we can get into the demonstration for that as well. If we click that, you're going to see it says angle, angle zeroing. So I'm just going to sit this down on my toolbox here, take my hands off of it. There, done. It's extremely quick, but it does have to set still. If you're sitting in a moving vehicle or you're you're even vibrating a little bit, like holding it, you got to be stone cold to hold this and actually have it set. So I got it set to 180 angle uh, degrees. I'm just going to set it to something a little bit smaller here just so demonstration purposes can go a little bit easier. So let's set it to 90 degrees. Now, one thing is with this, it actually remembers what angle you're on. Uh, let's do something funky like 85 degrees because some people say, well, I can mark a socket and I can eye up your angle. Well, that's fine. But with a lot of the newer fasteners coming out, not so much the vehicles, but the actual fasteners, of course, angle is a more accurate way of torquing, um, gives you torque to yield instead of just if there's a little bit of dirt on the threads, enough friction that actually makes it stop and get to that 100 foot pounds or whatever you're doing. So angle is a lot more accurate and that's why a lot of new fastener companies are going with it for torquing. So basically, you, know, you got to go to the future. You got to go to that uh, that uh, electric vehicle instead of the gas engine uh, it's the way of the future uh, for a lot of uh, functionality so without getting into that uh we're gonna talk 85 degrees so if i'm torquing up or down let's start up here just so i can do the demo uh we're torquing we're torquing let's say you hit an obstruction you actually have to ratchet it back it'll remember where you're at and keep going and of course that progressive lighting allows you to get right where you need to and along with that you're actually going to, whoop, of course, we'll flip it around here. You're going to see what your maximum torque was for that uh, degree as well. So it's nice if you have a certain bolt that you can't go over a certain torque with, you're able to see that you're within spec or without a spec. So I'll tell you, these are a great torque wrench. Um, that's basically all for the brains of the unit. Of course, in the back here, it's a nice um, a rubber handle. They do have a waterproof or resistant. Nothing's ever proof anymore because, well, you guys always seem to, <laughs> I guess, prove us wrong on that. Uh, but you got your little cap on the back here. Your f three AA batteries and dump them out here. So we just use energizers. Of course, we sell Duracells on the truck. Um, we throw that in there. Like I said, with the auto off feature, we don't see guys going through too, too many batteries. They are fairly uh, good at staying uh, 
staying charged in the uh in the unit so if you have any questions let me know leave a like comment if you need any more information um of course i did this demonstration on the three eighths the only difference between the three eighths the half inch the quarter inch all of our digital torque wrenches are the actual units that you get to torque with so with your uh, half inch you're not going to get your lower increments so your uh, say your inch pounds foot pounds are all in there but your decinewton meters kilogram centimeters won't be in there and then with your quarter inch they're all same as what the three eighths is so leave a like let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about torque wrenches and uh, we'll be talking very soon